Everybody, this is Beetle Five. Welcome to another one of my reaction videos. Now, unfortunately, Ginger cannot join me for today's Death Battle reaction. He is still in Virginia with family, unable to access Skype or any ways to watch it with me. But do not worry, he will still be watching the Death Battle, which I will, I will be reacting to Android 18 versus Captain Marvel Death Battle. But he'll give his fair analysis of what he thought was going to win and who would have actually won next time when we react to the next time he comes back. But as for this fight, my opinion, I honestly think that Captain Marvel will win this fight right now because, yes, Android 18 is stupidly strong. I mean, he easily took down Vegeta and uh, I think a few others in Dragon Ball Z, but... Captain Marvel is like has the ability to absorb energy and has like a general overall kind of power. She's sort of like Marvel Superman, kind of. Maybe not as powerful as Superman himself, but she kind of has a like an assortment of all different kinds of powers. Whereas Android 18 only has like like typical key stuff and like which key means spiritual energy and shit. So it's not like magic or not. And like you know, Dragon Ball makes that very clear. The key is not magic and all that shit. But unless, I don't know, maybe they pull some kind of feat that Android AT could do or a weakness about Captain Marvel that I'm not aware of at this moment, I'm going to have to put my vote towards Captain Marvel. So let's see how this goes. Sloth, pizza, chaos. This is great things. Sloth 2025, the Great Pizza Wars. The all-new wow. twin stick shooter from Rooster Teeth Games. Customize your sloth with over a thousand unlockable hats. It's like Duck Game. the arena and <laughs> battle for pizza and glory. Four game modes, 20 different weapons, a variety Lots of, of pizza. Maps. Sloth pole dancing? Battle Sloths has something for everybody. Well, right then. Available now on Steam for PC, Mac, and Linux. Just I click will the link have in the to description look into below. this game. It looks too good to not <laughs> look at. <laughs> Alright. Let's do this shit. I love a powerful woman. Even better Kill one Bill. that keeps getting stronger and stronger. And today we've got two of them. Android 18, the deadly cyborg killer from Dragon Ball. And Captain Marvel, the hard-hitting, high-flying Avenger. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to oh, analyze yeah, she took their out weapons, trunks too. armor, and skills yeah. to find out who would win a death battle. Oh man, another 8-bit sprite death battle. We need to put it a kick-ass three-dimensional. In the age 763, peace had returned to the Earth. Unsung heroes, led by the Super Saiyan Goku, had saved the world from an evil galactic tyrant. Everything seemed pretty hunky-dory until a mysterious time traveler showed up out of nowhere with a grave warning. In just three years' time, two deadly androids would rise up and ravage the Earth. All while wearing the mark of the long-forgotten Red Ribbon, Ribbon Army. Army. Oh, this sounds fuck like it's gonna guys. get complicated real fast. To be brief, the Red Ribbon Army was the greatest military force ever known even greater than the Earth's entire armed forces combined. Until a tiny monkey child named <laughs> Goku strolled through and wrecked their shit. Dr. Jiro, founder and lead scientist of the Red Ribbon Army, held a grudge against Goku for over 20 years. Like any mad scientist hellbent on revenge, the good doctor got back to doing what he did best. Building murder bots! And so he designed some of his deadliest creations to date. Android 17 and Android 18. Though Android isn't entirely accurate. I'm gonna say Android 18, 18 was were human. Actually, humans once. Yeah. Siblings even. So that makes them cyborgs, not androids. You'd think a doctor with Jero's prestige would know the difference. <laughs> I'll just chalk it up to a classic case of revenge madness. That <laughs> happens to the best of us. Android 18's <laughs> real name is Lazuli. Oh. Sounds like some sort of Italian <laughs> pasta dish. No wonder she married to Krillin. Oh man, that, that that's her. unreal. Yeah, I could never. Android 18 and her brother were I can never unruly that. and a force to be reckoned with. Jiro, even with his own cyborg body, didn't stand a chance. With nothing better to do, the twins set off to ravage the world as predicted. But this time, something changed. After witnessing the compassion of the heroes, including a bald, vertically challenged martial artist named Krillin, <laughs> 18 had a change of heart and joined the good guys. 
she even wound up starting a family with Krillin. Oh my god. Nice! Give it up for Krillin! Not <laughs> only is he punching above his bracket, but he's laying pipe above it as well. Plus, 18 doesn't really age, so that's a serious win. <laughs> Android 18 is an Yeah, but it doesn't help that Krillin named his daughter after his military. first girlfriend. Rose programming <laughs> stems from decades of military dominance, granting her incredible hand-to-hand -hand combat skills and mechanically enhanced senses for superb situational awareness. And she's got the strength to back it up. This chick can embed a person straight into the side of a cliff with a single smack or shoot explosions out of her hands. She does this by harnessing key a Taoist-inspired life force energy manifested through a person's spirit and vigor. With her key, 18 can fire a barrage of energy beams powerful enough to destroy buildings, continents, possibly even planets. Like huh. the finger beam! <laughs> the Talk about getting finger blasted, am I right? No. No. Oh, no. You know you left. Absolutely not. <laughs> God damn it. On the inside? Ugh. Android 18 <laughs> has dozens of other techniques, oh, such as infinity bullets. I know what you're thinking, but it's not a magic gun with unlimited ammo. It's a stampede of energy blasts. She can do the destructive disc too. Impossible Shit. to avoid. Her photon strike lays waste to a vast area in an instant. She can even use her husband's signature technique, the destructo disc. It's a buzzsaw made of pure energy. Why don't more Dragon Ball characters use that thing? He is just as much a defensive tool as well. Android 18 can enhance her strength, speed, and endurance with her energy greatly surpassing the limitations of her physical body. Oh yeah, and she can fly! As Unlike can every character 18's in Dragon Ball Z. energy supply stems from a sort of battery within. This system grants her a continuous and potentially endless supply of key. She'll never get tuckered out. In fact, one of her favorite combat strategies is wasting time to make her enemy exhausted, then moving in to finish him off. She's making him burn up all his energy and then she's going to attack him. Like many of Dr. Giro's other androids, it's even possible for 18 to steal her foe's energy for herself by absorbing oh, it yeah, through her Oh yeah, what is it, body, 19, Increasing right? her power kind of and nullifying one. her opponent. So you can bet she'll always go the distance. Like Rocky Balboa, except, you know, way stronger and <laughs> way prettier. 18 is tough enough to deflect Goku's Kamehameha attack, even while he's in Super Saiyan Blue. Broke form. Super Saiyan's arm, yeah, he broke, also, she broke she Vegeta's hard arm. Enough to break Super Saiyan Vegeta's arm. What's so impressive about breaking an arm? You broke yours once just by falling out of your chair. Uh huh. <laughs> you might have missed the Super Saiyan part there. Vegeta's extremely high key levels improve his body to support an impressive amount of weight. Leading up to the fight, Vegeta was training in 450 times gravity, oh, yeah. making his weight about 55,000 pounds. That means the tibia in his leg would be supporting over 40,000 pounds, the equivalent of eight pickup trucks. Yeah, the whole freaking Damn, thing about double the gravity like chamber is fucking so many incredible. And never have to worry about falling down. On top of that, she's able to use her constant Crazy. supply of key to easily match the speed of a Super Saiyan. We've previously established that an ascended Super Saiyan can fly approximately oh, 340,000 yeah. miles per Back hour. Back from Super Members Goku. So it's reasonable to believe 18 can do the same. Man, this key stuff is seriously awesome. Maybe I should start meditating or something. <sighs> do you even know how? Yeah, all I gotta do is get drunk and sit on the floor crisscross applesauce. <laughs> <laughs> Sure. <laughs> anyway, just like Vegeta, Android 18's key allows her to survive serious blows. She's even tanked the full brunt of a Super Saiyan key blast, capable of obliterating an entire building without a scratch. Can't say the same for that sweet ass jacket. Man, 18 is awesome. Awesome? Yeah. Yes. Unstoppable? Not at all. Android 18 is unfortunately susceptible to a number of weaknesses, including her own programming. Fearing her unruliness, Jiro designed her with a remote shutdown system in place, one that both he and Krillin's friend Bulma were able to exploit. Wow, so this little thing will stop them, huh? On top of that, 18 has a reputation of being cold and apathetic. Although always. this is mostly just a guise, as she's always ready to defend her friends and family from threats. She even joined Goku, the man she was originally programmed to kill, for an interdimensional tournament bent on saving the universe from annihilation. It's safe to say the Super Saiyans are not the only blondes protecting the planet. Ha, Believe me, nice. when she gets that look in her eye, you better hold on to your Dragon Balls. 
Ha! I know I'm being hard on you, but it's the only way you'll learn. Okay. Okay. Well, we gotta see about Marvel Captain Marvel. Has had many names. Who's gonna be in Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite? Oh, I can't born, wait to play this game. Carol Danvers. Um, Carol grew up in Boston and joined the Air Force to pay for college. She quickly flew as a cat to the named Chewie. Oh, before sick. Moving on to the Air Force intelligence. <laughs> I know Ginger will appreciate that. Join NASA. Damn. Is her superpower just having really badass jobs? Wonder if she could give me a recommendation. Working at NASA was pretty cool until aliens attacked. The aliens! Carol got caught in the middle of a massive battle between the Kree aliens and oh, a Kree oh, superhero God damn, named Marvel, known to the world as Captain Marvel. Well, wait. Captain Marvel's secret identity is Marvel? Somebody forgot to read superheroes for dummies. <laughs> oh, anyway, Jesus Christ, the battle, Stanley. Carol got stuck in a machine Come called on, the dude. Psych Magnetron, <laughs> which exploded. <laughs> Luckily for her, this is one Psych of those explosions that turns you into a superhero. <laughs> the energy from the blast merged Carol's DNA with strands of Marvel's. She developed an extra Kree brain lobe and gained most of mm. Marvel's powers, transforming her into a new dynamic superheroine. Except she didn't even realize it at first. She'd just black out at random times and wake up to hear about a new suspiciously blonde superhero. <laughs> hey Wiz, maybe I have a superhero side like this. I mean, I black out all the time. <laughs> Boomstick, you don't have powers. You have a problem. You have a problem. Her adventures, Carol went through several phases <laughs> of superhero great. titles. First Miss Marvel, oh, then so she Binary, is Miss Marvel. Then, Warbird, then Miss Marvel again, until one day, okay. Marvel. See, I thought died. Captain Marvel and Miss Marvel were two different people. Here's to you, Marvel. To honor her okay. fallen friend, Carol so Danvers same person. took up his mantle, becoming the brand new Captain, Captain Marvel. Marvel. Captain Marvel damn is name. unbelievably powerful, Super with superhuman Super strength Stoltan. and incredible Edge durability. Field. Edge absorption, she learned binary how to form. fly planes in the Air Force, but now she could fly herself. But see, her energy absorption, I'm wondering if that, that includes which, through her key, time with the Air his, Force and as a member of the spiritual Avengers, energy. she's received so years I'm of quality not combat sure. training. Not only can she Maybe. hit hard, she can fire powerful concussive blasts of photon and stellar light energy from her hands, as well as create energy fields. As if all that weren't enough, Carol can open up an extra can of whoop-ass by absorbing energy. Absorbing anything from electricity to magic can make her even stronger. Okay. With these powers, Captain I'm pretty Marvel sure has done some pretty amazing falls things. Under falls under Falls in between with the Avengers, energy and magic. The combat simulation measured that she could deliver a force of 92 tons. Almost 10 times the destructive power of a Davy Crockett nuclear missile. She can survive oh. energy blasts to the face and even the vacuum of space. Punch Iron Man out of his time. armor and save the sun. Overcame Venom symbiote. The atmosphere in only a minute and Absorbed the energy seconds. of a nuke. Survived two hits from destructor's uh, beam. Sky to cover in less than two minutes. Defeated vision. She that's her personal record. Now, son of a bitch. The distance between a New York City street and the exosphere, Marvel must have been flying 247 times times faster than the speed of sound. Carol has taken out characters like Which I think is way faster than the Super Saiyan. Armor, and even survived two point blank blasts from the Destructor's beam, which has enough power to punch holes through an Imperial Kree starship. And that's not even the height of her power. If Marvel absorbs enough energy, she can access the powers of Binary, a form she took after losing her powers, getting lost in space, and being experimented on by aliens. Long story. As binary, she can tap into the power of a white hole and generate star levels of energy. And her hair's on fire! Well, Were shit. Were you even listening? That's like the least interesting thing about it. Says you! <laughs> Look at it! Binary was an extremely powerful form, capable of wiping out entire fleets of enemy ships. But one that Captain Marvel does not have easy access to. She initially lost the form after expending all of its energy, and is unable to reach it again without absorbing a massive amount of interstellar energy, hmm. such as the infinite energy from a gravitational field of a black hole singularity. She's too stubborn to Okay, just give so up, she though. probably won't be She's using that move against a droid fault, team. Even rushing headlong into situations while ignoring advice from wiser, more experienced friends. Like the time she started a civil war between superheroes, Whoa. or when she completely ignored her damaging addiction to alcohol. Ha! <sighs> wow. Yeah, Carol is a badass with a hell of a lot of power. But if Tony Stark of all people thinks you have a drinking problem, <laughs> you should probably listen to him and stop uh, trying yeah. to fly into space while completely wasted. Yeah. 
Regardless, Captain Marvel is a seasoned hero, with a record that most would be envious of. Hell, she's such a pillar, she's named after the publishing company itself. <laughs> Damn. Anybody else? Okay. All right. Overall, set. Let's I have to say, Android 88 is first, stupid strong. It's time for some but, blue apron. but Captain Marvel is stupider strong. I I have to go with Captain Marvel on this one. She's definitely gonna win this fight. She overclocks Android 18 in many ways. So let's see this shit. Oh, she found a Dragon Ball. Wait, AT's interest in Dragon Balls? Come on, she doesn't have interest in those. <laughs> does she? I don't think she does. Get back. Oh, this shit. This orb is coming with me. Give me a break, lady. I've been looking for that thing all day. Okay, then. Don't make me hurt you. Yeah, good luck with that. All right. Oh, that was a Xenoverse combo right there. Shit, look at him go. Maybe she can keep up with Marvel. Whoa. Oh, oh. This is almost like an actual DBZ fight. <laughs> I really don't have time for this. Oh, after, oh, after I'm in shit. <laughs> oh. Oh! Oh! The Dragon Ball. What a pest. No fair! That's playing dirty! <laughs> Time to clean up then. Oh boy. I think she can absorb that. Yeah! She can absorb it! Yeah! She can absorb it! Surprise! Key. Thanks for the energy. Wait! Oh, so she is binary! Okay. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! I can take whatever you give and dish it back twice as hard. Oh boy. Well, shit. Destructo disc. Oh. Oh boy. <laughs> Have a taste of your own energy. Whoa. Whoa! But the thing is, she can survive that. I think. What? Yeah. Surprise! I can do it too. Wait, wait, wait! She can absorb energy. Who the fuck says she can do that? I don't recall them saying that. Oh shit! Oh! Ah! Uh. There, I can still. That's that. What the fuck? But ouch! Now that's a crush. I don't remember them saying that 18 could absorb energy. Hold on, wait, I gotta listen to this. Mightiest warriors. Wait, wait, wait. She couldn't stand up to the impressive power, speed, and expertise of Android 18. Why? Stuff the numbers don't lie. When it comes to speed, Carol's best record put her in just under 200,000 miles per hour. Way faster. 18 could move over 100,000 miles faster. Most apparent of all, Marvel's durability and strength feats. I didn't understand Super Saiyan data. The only way Marvel's power could match 18's was to absorb enough energy to reach her binary form. Yeah. But 18 is no stranger to that technique. There's no doubt she recognized what Carol was doing and stopped feeding her energy. Oh, Even if Carol had somehow yeah. achieved the full force of binary, that wouldn't have guaranteed a win. I mean, the last time we saw binary in the comics, she was taken down by some alien guns. Yeah, she's not as good at absorbing energy as she thought. Okay. With superior speed. All right, I admit to I admit to a big my bad here. I totally misunderstood the information. Until it was time to go in for the kill. All right. And that's why Prime. Captain 18 Marvel gets to the lost this by time. T -O. God, that one was awful. Okay. The winner is Android All right, fine. 18. 18 wins. My bad, guys.
Hey, don't go away. We're about to reveal the matchup for the next yeah, episode. Let's see, of it. Death let's see it. Let's and see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. Commentary on this episode. Click that little button over there and start a first membership trial. Helps us out a lot. What we got here? Metal Sonic. Who versus Zero? Sweet. I like it. Uh. I have to go with Metal Sonic, honestly. Well, I go with Metal Sonic because I know I know more of Sonic than I do of Mega Man X or Mega Man Zero, whichever one he's from. I, I never played any of those games, so. But I'm not, no Metal Sonic's power is like near limitless. So, but dude, that's gonna be a cool fight. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, to leave a comment on what else you should react to in the future, and I will see you guys next time. Later's.